Hello and welcome to this video series. My name is Thomas Langer. I'm the product manager for IOLink here at Baumer. And in this video series, I'm going to guide you step by step through the process of integrating an IOLink sensor from Baumer through our new IOLink Master CM50i into the whole Siemens environment using an S7-1200 PLC. If you had contacts with Baumer sensors, you very likely know our USB-C Master and the Baumer Sensor Suite, which is a very easy way of actually visualizing a measurement and setting up your sensor correctly so it does what you want from it in your machine. And then your next step is how do you integrate the sensor into your actual machine? So the first step that we are going to take is connecting our sensor, activating the IO-Link ports of the master, and then reconnecting this master to the Baumer Sensor Suite so you can start where you left off with a USB-C I.O. Link Master from Baumer. So let's get right into it. As first step, we are assigning a manual IP address to our USB Ethernet adapter. And for this, we go down in the taskbar and look for the Ethernet or Wi-Fi symbol. And right click on that, click on Network Ethernet Settings. And in this window, we are just looking for the last option, Advanced Network Settings. And this brings up a list of all the network adapters connected to this machine. Now, we need to find the one that we actually have connected here via USB. And unfortunately, in our case, we see two, a Lenovo USB and a Realtek USB. So we are not completely sure which of these is our adapter. And in order to make sure, we just unplug it. And watch which of the two disappears, and then plug it back in. And see that just Ethernet 7 was the one that responded. So we click on Ethernet 7, click on More Adapter Options, and this brings up a pretty classic window where we click on Ethernet Protocol version 4 and Properties. And this is where we find the setup for a manual IP address. Why do we need to set up a manual IP address in this case? Well, in machines, this is the standard way of doing it. And also, if you work in an enterprise environment, your IT will only allow devices that they have individually accepted. So when you just add an IONIC master to your network, it will not do anything. It will not get any setup and it will not work unless you plug it in to a USB network like this and set it up manually or you have your IT creating a network for you where these adapters will work. Now we choose use the following IP address and then enter on this machine I, I select 192.168 zero and seven for my adapter and if we click on subnet mask we see three times 255 which is the default setting and what this means is that the first three numbers are defined as a subnet so they have to stay identical for everything you connect to this ethernet adapter in this case our ioni master and then there's the last number, and this is the individual ID of each device on this network. So in this case, we select seven, and that also means our network I owning master needs a different number than seven to work. So the first three identical, the last one individual. That's what you have to remember. And then you click OK. And with that, our network adapter has an IP address. Now for the second step, we have to assign an IP address to our master. Since this is a Provinet master, it comes with a special property. The default address right now out of the box is four times zero, an IP address no normal network device can connect to. The way this address is changed is using a special Provinet protocol called DCP. Now, if you have TIA portal installed, you can simply do it there. And this is also what the Siemens PLC does on startup. But what if you don't have TIA portal installed? 
Well, the Bomber Sensor Suite got you covered because it just talks DCP as well. So let's open the Bomber Sensor Suite. And on the left column, we select Device Cockpit. Then in the third column, we select IO Link as our protocol. And then on a column to the right, we get a list of all the IO Link masters the Bauma Sensor Suite can connect to, including our CM50i. Now, the Bauma Sensor Suite gives you two options to connect to a master, either by searching for it or by connecting to a device using a standard IP address. Well, in our case, we know that the address won't work because it has four times zero in it. So we need to search for it first. But instead of a search logo, like we find down here, we only get a download arrow. So what does that mean? Well, in order for a machine to talk DCP, you need a special driver installed on your PC. And the Bomber Sensor Suite on Startup checks if this driver is installed. When it is, you get the search bar. When it's not, you get this download arrow to save your steps on the way. If you click on this arrow, it brings up a link to the download page of this driver. And we just follow this link and download this driver right here and open it. Now this is a driver that we tested with the Bomber Sensor Suite and that works. However, this is third party software. So check the license agreement and the terms of service if they are aligning with your company's rules and only then install that driver. In our case, we agree and install this driver in Win PCAP compatible mode. So we hit install. And once we are done, we restart our machine. Can reopen up the Bomber Sensor Suite and take a little look at the CM50i now. And we can see that download symbol changed into the search button. And this means the Bomber Sensor Suite found the correct driver and is now ready to search for our master. So we just click on this search button and let the Bomber Sensor Suite do its thing. And boom, here it is. The CM50i Profinet with the IP address 4 times 0 Now in order to change this address, we click on this master and get a set of options up here. For us, most interesting is set IP. Now we enter the IP address we want to assign to this master. And you remember the first three numbers probably. That was 192.168.0. And then the last number for this example, again, this needs to be individual. We just select 200. Now the subnet mask needs to be exactly the same as before. So 255, 255, 255. And that's all we have to set up here. So if you click assign IP address, this configuration is sent down to the master. And another click on OK will reconnect to this master with a standard Ethernet protocol using this new IP address. So if this master turns green and you can see the new IP address here, you know this setup worked. Now we can see that the master is connected to the Obama Sensor Suite. We can click on it and get a list of all ports. But we can also see that our sensor is not showing up at all. And instead, it shows us deactivated ports. So what's up with that? Well, this is a new behavior of masters of the newest generation that they come with ports deactivated as their default for security reasons. 
and you have to manually activate the port that you want to use. In our example, just for convenience, we want to activate all ports. And here you can see that the devs of the Bomber Sensor Suite were really thoughtful because they gave us this button here. And if you click on that, then a single click will activate every single port and set it to IO-Link Auto Start. Nice. And here it is on port X3, our OM30, just as expected. And if now we click on the OM30, we get back to the screen we are used to with a sensor view and the add on all the settings and parameters of the center that you want to adjust. And so you're now back to the same functionality as you have been left off with the USB C Master. And if we just plug in our full model, you can see that we can even connect to multiple masters at the same time, or you can plug in your entire machine, and the Bomber Sensor Suite will show you every sensor that is connected to IO Link in that network. That is an easy way to verify and fine tune sensor parameters, and even to troubleshoot if something isn't working as expected. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned something and see you in the next.